Hi again everyone, it's me, Miss Bex. So I'm going to be doing a video tutorial uh, with you today for some drawing. Mrs. Hill told me that you guys have been learning about the Arctic and she thought that it might be cool if you learned to do some drawing and I found a cute little animal that we can draw together and that is a baby seal. So I'm gonna go through um, what you're gonna need and how you can make a picture like this. So you're going to need um, your pencil and a ruler and a rubber and a sharpener and then I've got a piece of paper here and if you can manage to find some in your home grab out a paintbrush and if you have any colors like watercolors or anything that you can paint with that's great if you don't you can actually just use um, food coloring and you can use that for your blues for your blues of the sky all right, let's have a look how we're gonna do it. So I'm actually just using um, half of a piece of paper. So I've cut that one in half there. And to draw your seal, what you're gonna to need to do is start off with the eyes. So you're gonna make two circles and you can do like maybe like a finger space in between the eyes. Try and make them the same size. And then you come and you draw like crescent moon around here. And you're gonna draw a little reflection line of the eyes on both sides. And then you can color in the pupils of your seal's eyes, like this. So this is a baby cartoon seal. Um, it's not actually my original drawing. I did borrow this from somewhere else because I liked the way it looked. It's quite cute, but I am going to show you at the end how to do um, how to color in the background of things as well. So then after that, you're going to do. Um, your little nose, a little round nose here, and give it a bit of a snout. Then, just down from the nose, put a little wee dot. Can you see that? Okay, so then on either side of the dot, you're gonna do like an upside down M. You can do like a little curve. You can give it some smiling lines at the side. And then at the bottom points of those dots, you're gonna join it up with another loop. Just like that, that's gonna be the mouth. You can give your baby seal a tongue and then colour in the back. And here, do it nice and slow and carefully so you don't have to rub it out. Okay, I'm going to give your baby seal some eyebrows just to make it look real cute. Um, and what are we going to do after that? So you're going to do a little line for your chin. Then you come up, no. You come up maybe about like a thumb width up here and you're going to give this little guy some little tufts of hair at the top of his head. And from here you're going to come around your seal. Don't join it all the way up in the middle so you're going to curve your pencil around to give him a face on either side. Kind of like this. So head in towards the chin on both sides. Again, if you make a mistake you can just rub it out. So. And there you have the face and then you're gonna come from this side of the chin so from the right of the chin you're gonna come and curve a line down here for his chest and then you're gonna give him a flipper by curving another line out this way and one that joins it do you see okay so for the flipper on the other side you just come out straight from here and like another curvy line from that side then you want to find where this line continues over here so you're going to draw like the underbelly and you'll give him a little tail like this and then you're going to curve up and finish off his back there come down give him a little neck you can meet there so there you have a chubby little baby seal and when you have finished your seal, you can draw um, like a. Oh yeah, <laughs> you can draw around here. So like a piece of ice that he's sitting on. Um, sometimes, sometimes I make mistakes too. So then you can rub it out. So if you give it like an S shape, do you see how that's like a letter S there? Then you want to drop it down from here. See that? It kind of makes it look like a cliff. Well, it will do once it's, it hopefully will anyways. Okay, so then this is where you need your ruler and you're gonna do a horizon line. So make sure it's nice and straight across your page 
and you've got to roll this line really gently so it's quite thin and you don't really see it so much because it's actually just for to guide you where to color it right so there you have your horizon line um, and we're going to do an iceberg so what I have here is I'm just going to make like the mountain go up and across in a bit of a funny shape like it's not perfect and then curving around here and some ripples in the water around the iceberg and I did forget to give my seal some little freckles so we're just going to go ahead and add in three dots on either side of the mouth there just to make okay so now we're going to add some color to it so if you manage to find some blue food coloring um, or some water paints or whatever you've got in your house you're going to need to mix them up it can be really thin so this one's not very thick at all and then you're just going to slosh that on there to fill in the C in the background just sort of leave a gap around the lines for now and depending on the size of your brushes that you are able to find at home if you've got a smaller brush one like one of these that will be easier for filling in those gaps so that you don't um, bump it over the lines into your painting and you just take it nice and slow and don't rush it so that you can practice staying in staying inside the lines for the ocean and there we go smaller brush there we go so another thing that you could do is if you're able to find more than one color of blue or you could add a drop of maybe a drop of yellow to make it a slightly more greenier or even just make it thinner so you could make another color for the sky if you're able to find another color or if you can mix up another color with some whatever you have even chalk maybe you could put some chalk if you have different colors of it so then you're just going to go and brush the sky in a different color and do the exact same thing there and get your smaller brush and fill in any gaps again don't rush it because you don't want to make a mistake it's hard to go back with watercolors Take it nice and slow and try and keep your hands steady, which is tricky. I know it's tricky, so just give it your best shot. And there. So there you have Baby Seal with water, iceberg, and the sky in the background. I hope you enjoy it and I hope you give it a try and maybe send some pictures through to Seesaw so I can see what you've done. Have a good day.